Actually, on top of um, one of my the local coffins um, in the area. So coffins are kind of, I guess, um, burial mounds. Um, I guess the area between Osaka and Kyoto, which is where I live, um, is very, very old and has lots of history. So there's lots and lots of these kind of you know, areas around the place and yeah, I just thought it's really something different and interesting that I thought I'd show you guys. So I think this one dates back from from memory, I think it's about 500, 500 maybe, and um, it was actually built for one of the, um, it's either a retainer for the, the emperor or one of the emperors of like one of the early periods. Um, yeah, it's actually really famous for its Haniwa factory, which are kind of like the little statues of like servants and animals and livestock that were actually buried with um, the emperor or whoever was buried at these things. Um, there's actually quite a good display, which I'll show you guys a little bit of. But yeah, I just thought something a little bit different, something a little bit interesting, and yeah, I kind of find this really fascinating. I think it's history that's so different and so much older to what I'm used to. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys. I hope you like it. That's cool. Guys, this is what it looks from the top of the coffin. So yeah, they've actually got these, they did a huge big archaeological dig in the late early, early 90s. Um, I'm going to be really careful because there's so many kids around, I don't want to um, put them on camera. Um, but yeah, there was a big archaeological dig around here in the eight, late 80s, early 90s. Um, so they've done a really cool kind of setup and they've actually got a really good museum, which unfortunately is closed today. Um, but the park they've kind of created is really awesome and you can actually go around and see. I think it's a little bit rare to actually be able to climb up on top of these things. So so yeah. So yeah, around the place they have these kind of plugs which give you a little bit of history about the, um, the area and about kind of the area that you are in. Oh, where's two? We've lost two. That's awkward. Oh well. Yeah. It's actually just a really nice kind of green space in the middle of the city as well, which is kind of nice just to get away from everything and go rambling about so yeah it's just it's really pleasant here. I think this is possibly where the um, Emperor's tomb is maybe I, uh, I think. Let's go over here it looks interesting. We're going adventuring. That's a bamboo. Yeah I love it it's like little paths that like dart off here and there which is kind of cool. I think it's really nice. Lots of families seem to come here and there was a couple having picnics and yeah you can see kind of like actually I think you might just be able to see all the Haniwa um, display that they've got over there. We'll go and take a look at it in a second. Yeah so this is all the the big coffin, the big tomb so lots of people taking walks and yeah it's just nice that these kind of spaces exist, I think, and are protected. Ooh, okay, I was just a bed. My Australian instincts are on high alert, being in the bush or forest. Forest? It's not bush, Mel. We're not in Australia. My instinct thought is snake! I think down this end they've actually got the water. So kind of how like the moat, there would have been a moat. Well, yeah, I guess. There would have been a moat all the way around this. Um, as I think if you can see some other ones from other cities, um, this kind of is a little bit more clear. But I think they've only got around halfway for this one for some reason. I don't quite know why, but yeah. Let's go take a look at this other plaque. of serenity. Somebody doing stuff down there. 
sticky wigging. Oh, the serenity. Yeah, this is what the coffin looks like from afar. So these are the Haniwa statues. Well, at least they're like remakes of them, I guess. 